Hello there chaps and chapettes. You might recognise this as a scattergraph. And this particular one shows ginger beer consumption against temperature. Now temperature will go along the horizontal axis the independent variable, as it is completely independent of the other one. And ginger beer, on the y-axis or vertical axis, is the dependent variable, dependent upon temperature. Now you may have seen these at GCSE, where you may have had to draw a line of best fit. Over there. Here, 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 or maybe here. Now the problem is it's very difficult to be accurate with this line of best fit. And to minimise the distances between the point and the line and make it so they balance. Hmm. Now in the future, hopefully we'll have a better way of doing this. And maybe be able to get the equation of our line that will re perfectly represent the line of best fit. Hmm. This will probably be called our regression line. But I reckon maybe they will use a different form of the straight line equation. A plus BX. Just a little bit of rearrangement and a little bit of relabeling. So B would be the gradient. And A would be the intercept. At this time, we do not have an idea of how to calculate this regression line. But hopefully, in the future, some very clever chaps, or maybe chap hats, will find it. Right, now we're in the future, we have this method of uh, plotting our best line of best fit. Yeah, and we, we call this line the regression line. And we call it the regression line because what we've done is we've calculated the line so that all these individual points, you can see E1 here, E2, point 0.3, point 0.4 here, they all have their own X and Y coordinates, so you can see go up from the x-axis to E1, that's going to have an x-coordinate and across to Y the same. E2, we've got an x-coordinate and a y-coordinate, so it's x2, y2, and they each have their own. And the regression line minimises the total distance between all the points and the line added together. Because obviously if that distance is the smallest it can be, then we've got the best possible line of best fit. Yeah, I mean, actually, it's a little bit more subtle than that because what you do is you actually add up the squares of these things. But the, the idea is the same. We want to minimise this. And that's what um, this regression line does, that we can actually plot. And we're able, with things we already know, to be able to find the equation of this line. Yeah, as you can see, I mean, we already know the equation of a straight line from GCSE as y equals mx plus c. And it's kind of the same here, except... We've replaced B, M with B, because it's not your general gradient, it's a specific one that we've calculated a specific way, and we've replaced C with A to show that as well, because it's a specific type of wine set to do with uh, correlation or regression we're calculating, rather than a generic one. And so, to actually work out the equation of this line, we just need to calculate B and A. Well, B is just SXY of SXX, which is what exactly what we looked at last week and you're all brilliant at calculating. And then for A to calculate that, we just take the mean value for Y and take away this value B we calculated times the mean value of X. That's, That's it. it. It's done. Regulation standards. We are looking for any outline, any.
any irregularity. So I've been tasked to interrupt this meeting. Be fast. And we're going to make sure that they all meet standards. Sorry, sorry, I'm going to have to interrupt here. Uh, I've just come straight from Mrs. Bowe's office. She has demanded that all of you are measured immediately to make sure that you meet regulation standard measurements for teachers at King Egbert School. So if you'd like to form an orderly queue, we will begin the measuring now. Right, so we've got the data um, on your note sheet for teachers' height uh, against their forearm length. So, um, what you should do on your note sheet is plot a scatter graph. Now I've done an example, as you can see here, so I've made my uh, scale go from 160 to 200 for the height and 24 to 34 for the forearm length. Um, in this particular example, it's not obvious which is the dependent and which is the independent variable, um, but I've decided to put height on the x-axis, forearm length on the y-axis. So you should pause the video and have a go at doing your scatter graph. Right, so now we've got our scatter graph, we want to come up with our uh, regression line. And so that involves doing a lot of calculation. So, if we recall, the regression line has the form y equals a plus bx, where a is the y-intercept, b is the gradient, and b is given by s of xy over s of xx, and a is the mean of y minus b times the mean of x. Well, this involves a lot of number crunching, and so I've done quite a bit of the hard work for you. So, um, you can verify these for yourself, but the sum of x, which remember x is the height, comes out as 2,136. The sum of x squared is 381,128. And x bar, remember that's the mean of x, that's what we get when we add them all up and divide by 12, is 178. Similarly for y, which is the forearm length, uh, we get these figures. So sum of y is 323, sum of y squared is 8,767 and the mean of y is 26.916 recurring. Now the only other thing we need is the sum of x, y. Now that means you take each pair of data, so for example this teacher who's 166 centimetres tall and who had a forearm length of 24, and you multiply those two figures together. You do that for each of them and then you add them all up. So, you sh what you should do is you should verify you get the same figure. That's um, the only really new calculation we haven't seen before. So, have a go at that one, double check you get that figure. Right, so, we now need to calculate these things in order to work out A and B. So, let's do S of XX first. So, recall S of XX is equal to the sum of X squared minus the sum of x all squared over n. The well, sum of x squared is 381,128 minus 2,136 squared over 12. And when you do that, it comes out as 920. Now let's do s of xy. So that's the sum of y squared, sorry, sum of xy minus sum of x times the sum of y all over m. Well that is 57,725 minus 2,136 times 323 all divided by 12. When you do that 
comes out as 231. Now, these figures don't always come out quite as nicely as they have done in this example. Okay, so don't expect them always to be an integer. Right, well now we can work out B. Well, B is S of XY over S of XX. So that's 231 over 920. And when we do that, it comes out as 0.25, um, something, something, something in the calculator. So let's just verify that. 0.2511. Okay. Four decimal places. So now we can work out A. Well, A is equal to Y bar, which is 26.916 recurring, minus B, which we've just worked out. Uh, so that's 0.2511 times X bar, which is 178. And so when you plug that in, you get minus 17.78. So overall, our regression line is y equals minus 17.8, let's do it to three significant figures, plus 0.251x. Okay. Right. Now, the last thing is to try and plot this on um, our scatter graph. This is a bit awkward because our y-intercept is minus 17.8, which doesn't appear on our um, y-axis. And we know that the gradient is 0.251. That's quite difficult to do. So let's try and find two points that we can plot, and then we can draw our line of best fit by joining those two points up. So, I'm going to pick two very nice points. I'm going to let x be 172. So when I plug x equals 172 in, we get y equals minus 17.8 plus 0 0.251 times 172, and that comes out as 25.2, which I can plot pretty easily. In a similar way, if I let x be 180, then y will equal minus 17.8 plus 0.251 times 180, and that comes out as 27.2. So then I can join my line through these two points. And this is my regression line. So y equals minus 17.8 plus 0.251 x. And we've got our best line of best fit. OK then, so once we've done this regression line, we can use it to estimate values. Yeah, and that's what is known as interpolation. So interpolation is using the data within the range to make estimations. So let's, what height are you interested in? Um, 190. So if we take 190, then in GCSE you would have gone up to the line and read across. But yeah. we have the actual equation of the line. So we can just substitute an x value of 190 into this. So we get y equals minus 17.8 plus 0.251 times 190, and you type that in your calculator, and it comes out as 29.89. You're quick on your calculator, eh? Yeah, that's right. Okay. Uh, well, sorry, so, uh, okay, so what if I'm interested in, like, 300, someone who's, like, really tall, that I can use that as well, then? Well, um... No! That would be known as extrapolation, okay? So... That will be using data outside of the range of the data we use. Oh, because that like will be like over here. Yeah. It's like miles so, away. Whilst that could give us a value, we can plug that into there, then that would be unreliable. Okay? So make sure you make a note of that. Extrapolation, unreliable. No.
25. Okay guys, I'm sorry, I'm just going to have to interrupt here. Mrs. Bose has just been speaking to me in her office and she's very adamant that uh, all Stop teachers... it, stop it, look, what? no. No, what? you're doing it wrong. But your tone of voice is totally flat. You've got no idea, what the, what's the lighting doing in here? Doing, doing, there's so many shadows on your face. Doing, just like we talked. No, you didn't, you talked. Just like we like said, oh, for Christ's sake, I can't work like this. I'm, look, I'm sorry, look, I'm, I'm just, no, just, I'm just, I'm not working like this. I'm not working like this, just get out of my way. Do it on your own, just do it on your own. I'm going home. Oh, Mrs. Bowes, 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 Mrs. That's why we did it. Tip of your finger. Yeah, from... Where's your forearm? Tip of your finger. Oh, where's your forearm? That's your forearm from there to there. That's your hand. Wrist. Wrist to elbow. Wrist. Uh, uh, Mr. Jenner got it wrong. Mr. Jenner got it wrong? Was that Mr. Jenner got it wrong? Mr. Jenner, watch your language as well, because you are being filmed.